This is a uh, burn for free. Uh, this will burn uh, music and stuff uh, for CDs. Um, it does save CD and DVD. You got to do some other stuff for DVDs. Plus, uh, a lot of you, if you really wanting to burn DVDs, you need a special burner uh, that'll decrypt stuff. And this won't do that. Uh, this is just for basic putting your pictures, uh, putting music on a CD, CDR. Um, uh, it's simple. It does have quite a few buttons here. I don't mess with any of those. I really use three buttons on this. Uh, we'll start up, up up top. This is the page that comes out uh, when you click on the icon on your desktop, burn for free. Uh, you would come in here, it says volume name. This is where you would name your disc that you want. So uh, whatever, you could name it music if you want. Um, just type in whatever you want to name it. It already has the drive in there for your burner, so don't worry about that. We're going to really only use three buttons in here. Uh, depending upon if you have pictures, you'll use two. If you have audio, you'll use two, but it's three different ones. Uh, it's an add button, a burn data, and burn audio. Come in here, hit the add button. You'll see a tree over here on the left. Uh, if it's opened up and you get confused, this will happen to you too. Just uh, hit the minus signs and close the tree all back up. Get it all back to pluses. There you go. Uh, most everybody's stuff is all in the My Documents. All your pictures are in there, your music's in there, there's a folder in there, uh, which is default goes in there. So come in here, click on your My Documents. You'll notice it does open it up on this side, but it also puts all your My Documents are all in here, and that's where your music files. So just uh, go over and scroll down until you find your music or your pictures. There, both of them are there. So uh, music, double click on music. You'll see all your music in here. Depending upon what you want to do, if you're only wanting to add one song, click on it once, and you can come down over here. There's an add to compilation, uh, or if you want it all, select it all. Uh, but if you want one song, come down, hit add to compilation. It then will transfer it from right here over to this window over here, which this is everything that's going to get burnt. So, as you can see, I highlighted it once. I'm going to hit add to compilation. It automatically put it over here. Now, I'll say I want this one. Come down click on that add to compilation puts it over here now say that was the only thing now granted you're gonna want more music on there but uh, once you've selected whatever you want you can go into different things go uh, as long as you keep all the music all together but uh, once you've selected it moved over what you want then come up close this window completely and you are now ready to actually burn so remember this is music so don't hit the burn data hit burn audio now when I push this the button it's going to come up I don't have a disc in there so it tells me to please insert a disc actually what I do if I'm going to come in and burn something I stick the disc in right away so it recognizes it and you don't get this it goes immediately into a burn uh, state um, I will tell you uh, once it's done burning a lot of times it takes a minute or two afterwards before the actual tray opens up and uh, gives you the disc uh, it'll do it automatically so give it some time at the end don't sit and click a bunch of buttons just uh, be patient so uh, that is uh, about all there is to this uh, if you have more questions um, you know give me a holler uh, also uh, doing pictures is the same way just go in and pick it only thing for that then you want to burn the data or text files or any of that kind of stuff sell data pretty uh, self-explanatory burn audio you know burn music or other hit the other button for burning everything else that's about all there is to this one